we got the NBA. Uh, I'm jumping ahead, but we're going to go NBA, then we'll go to the NFL. So NBA free agency started, the NBA draft last week. NBA draft was kind of eh. Talent wasn't that great. Knicks made two trades for future picks, uh, you know, for next year's draft, which is always positive trying to build for the future, especially when a, a draft that was not that deep. The Knicks had picks 19 and 21. They traded them both to pick a 25. And they got Quinton Grimes from uh, University of Houston, who had a pretty good uh, uptick this season in college basketball. He's a good defender, shoots three. Knicks need shooters. They need someone to help out with Julius Randle. So I thought that was a pretty good pick. Uh, we'll see how it pans out, though. With the NBA draft, you never, you never know. Um, uh, speaking of free agency, though, the New York Knicks are just getting the gang back together, basically, because – you know, they were a four seed last year. They got Derrick Rose back on a three-year deal. They brought Nerlens Noel back a three-year deal. And they brought back Taj Gibson for a one-year deal. And then they signed Evan. By Ford. the way, I just want to point out, I love Taj Gibson. He's doing so many great things for the community. Yeah, um, he's, a good, he's a good guy. He's a good person. And I think Taj Gibson, more athletes need to be like Taj Gibson. He doesn't get enough uh, respect from the media or notoriety from the media. And there needs to be more light shown upon Taj Gibson. Uh, I remember last year, uh, uh, unfortunately, a child was, was murdered in New York City and he paid for that child's funeral. Um, while other athletes are taking knees and, and really doing nothing but creating divisiveness, he's actually going out there and trying to do something positive. And uh, Taj Gibson's a good New York Nick and uh, a, a great person. I yeah, have to see him back again too because he was at the Knicks before this stint last year. They traded, I think they traded to get him back because the Knicks previously, they got rid of him, then he came back again. Because mm-hmm. he was with Tibbs and uh, Rose back when they were on the Bulls. And they all played together. Uh, and then now they're together again in New York. So that's pretty cool. I actually tweeted I actually tweeted something or posted something about Taj Gibson's foundation last year around this time. That's why when you said the name, I was like, I was thinking about people like Taj Gibson and Joe Torre and Anquan Bolden uh, that have foundations and, and Curtis Granderson that have foundations that help people. They don't just talk about helping people. They actually do it. And uh, Taj Gibson's definitely a great athlete. Yeah. Great and person. Then, oh, yeah. I totally agree with that. And then for the New York Knicks, another move they made was they they, they signed Evan Fournier, um, who's from the Celtics. I think it's a pretty good pickup for them because he's a guy who could score. I think he gave a good – I think he had a pretty good series against the Nets, actually. Um, from Kirk, I don't know if I'm wrong or not, but uh, you guys probably don't remember the NBA playoffs too much, but um, – that, so that was it for the New York Knicks. I think that was all pretty good moves. Um, uh, Kyle Lowry is going to Miami. I saw that today. And then you have Caruso, Alice Caruso, uh, DeMar DeRozan, and Lonzo Ball all signing with Chicago, which I think that was a pretty good pickup to get both DeRozan and Ball. And then Alice Caruso was just a grinder type of guy, the NBA champion with the Lakers, who I think he left the Lakers because he was upset that uh, LeBron didn't let him play uh, Elmer Fudd. In uh, Space Jam, too. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of the Lakers. Yeah, seriously. Well, Lakers. Anybody surprised with what the Lakers just did? Well, here's the thing with the Lakers. So uh, let's get into the moves Lakers. So they bring Dwight Howard back. They make a huge trade on NBA draft night for Russell Westbrook, who's our boy. Uh, and then they just signed Camelo Anthony, who I love. Camelo Anthony That's like one of my all-time favorite basketball players, besides Michael Jordan. Um, I'm just a huge Melo fan. So I'm actually really excited to see the Lakers. Uh, him and LeBron playing together, like those guys are one and two in that draft back in, I don't know, it's like 2005, 2006, probably. Um, I think they're one and two, pretty positive. Was that 2005? I don't, I feel like it was earlier than that. Earlier than that? I feel like it was, earlier. It was earlier than that, but it was early, early, early 2000s. So the, the Lakers have actually gotten really old, so they have a lot of veteran presence on their, on their team. They're all like, I, I, I told you this earlier today. I hate that conversation. Veteran presence. You've been in the league for 15 years. You're a veteran. That is correct. But if you've been in the league for four years, you are still a veteran. I, know. I said like, it on purpose, Nick, to get you around. This up. veteran presence bullshit is nonsense. Like Brett Gardner needs to be on the Yankees because of veteran presence. Nobody on the Yankees is a rookie this year, except for the kid that pitched today. Everybody's been in the league for like five years. Is Greg, how long has Greg Allen been in the league? He's 28. He's been in the league for five years. This is his fourth team. Oh, there you go. I didn't know Greg Allen before, so that's why. But he's he's been a he's been Brett Gardner everywhere else. He's the fourth outfielder, which Brett Gardner has been his whole career. Yeah. Somebody pointed and, out today that Brett Gardner, oh, he's the only one that has World Series experience. He was the fourth outfielder on that on that outfield on that team. All right. 
The outfield was Johnny Damon, Melky Cabrera, um, Nick Swisher. Nick and Nick Swisher. Thank you. Nick Swisher. And then Matsui was the DH. Brett Gardner was the fourth outfielder. All right. Yeah. I never want to hear about Brett Gardner again. He sucks dicks and balls. You don't need veteran presence when everybody yeah. in your team's had five years of experience already. Cut it into How my often, NBA to talk baseball again. How often are we going to hear every time Brett Gardner gets the first, you know, the rarity that he gets there about his speed? How about that, Nick? He's not a fire. Don't get him fired up because we're in the NBA now. We already passed right, it. We're in the NBA. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. NBA let's let's talk about how LeBum still can't win a championship. He's going to win a championship this year. He's got Camelo Anthony. He's going to lose, all right? Giannis is still going to beat his ass, okay? Giannis is an incredible talent. but Dude, I'm sorry. Melo can't play. He's not a team player. He's not a team player. And now he's on LeBron's team. And it's LeBron's team way. And what you, I, I don't see the impact – they, yeah, they got big names. They're not going to play as a team. And I can't wait till LeBron throws a bitch fest towards one of these guys. It's going to be funny when you just see LeBron and like Westbrook just fighting each other. Uh, I got my money was, on Westbrook. By the way, it was 03. Yes, so what? 03. They got drafted. Oh, 03. Okay. So and I knew that. I was like, no, nah, I wasn't 05. I was still in high school when they got drafted. That's true. Yeah. But yeah, 03. So they're, they're old, but they're together, which is pretty cool. But. I was going to say, that, uh, is Dwayne Wee going to come out of retirement because he's going to miss the banana boat gang? Where's Chris Paul going? Oh, Chris Paul actually signed a four-year deal with the Suns. That was another big Oh, did he? Because I know they, they, he declined. He declined he? the $44 million. I think they offered him like 120 or something like that. So I don't okay. think – I guess he wanted instead of having the one-year deal for 44, he wanted the longevity or the guaranteed – more guaranteed money for four-year deal as opposed to the one-year deal, which I don't blame him for that. Um. Which makes sense. I mean, they were, they're the Western Conference champions. That's a team to beat now. Whether or not they are the team to beat, they are the team to beat because they won, they won the conference last year. That's it. Yep. yep. I'll be rooting for them this year. The I'll Suns? be rooting for everybody but the Lakers. I mean, I always have, Lakers. but I always have rooted for everybody but the Lakers, but now it's going to be extra. See, I'm the, I'm the opposite. Now I'm rooting for the Lakers because I like Melo and Russ Brooks. I don't like Melo that much or Russ that much. <laughs> I don't like Russ or Melo more than I hate LeBron. LeBron, I know it's LeBron it's, it's, ruined basketball. It's a catch twenty two for me because I I want to see Westbrook and Melo win, but I just hate LeBron. Le, I, he ruined basketball. He abs him, Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh and his fucking land before time looking ass ruined <laughs> basketball. Yeah, I agree. The super teams. Ruined basketball. They, they should, might as well make it three on three. They shouldn't even play five anymore. They should play three on three basketball at the Olympics. Uh, yeah, right. They need to do. They need to start l- l- allowing people to foul each other. That'll make basketball interesting. Hand check in again. Bring it back. Absolutely. Or physical. Forearm that, shivers. That Anthony Mason basketball. Yep. Yep. Listen, can we can we bring this podcast back around to a positive note? Because I got to play of the week. I'm being I'm being very positive. Can I sport? The championship this year. It's the Olympics, track and field. <laughs> okay. And I'm, I'm gonna attempt to get this <laughs> to go right now. Is that coming through? Very, very badly. Hold on. Let me see I if see I can. It. I see. I feel like he's gonna do something stupid. <laughs> 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 this is great. Audible what audio. happened? I'm pretty sure he trips. Audio. I'm pretty sure he trips. Can you send <laughs> that to me? Yeah. He just died. <laughs> so I feel like somebody shot him in midair. The audio, the audio part of the the podcast where we this goes on Apple and the media app. Uh, uh, yeah, I apologize to anybody. Le- video of someone just <laughs> dying, <after> eating shit <laughs> five feet into the sand. Yeah, just we would have eaten it. Listen, if, if you're listening on, uh, uh, you know, on just audio, I'm, I'm going to share it right to the uh, the Twitter I'm right sure now. On the, on, the, on the Twitter app. Jesus Christ, that's hilarious. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that guy just fucking face planted. Anything else for uh, for the NBA? <laughs> he literally made it five feet, one inches. Now that's it. I would talk about more NBA, but then I know you guys are going to turn into baseball. <laughs> or uh, NHL or some shit. Stay rock!